Hey there sexy vault dwellers, Stormy Skies 369 here with another camp glitch video. This one's for the Treehouse of Terrible Things Halloween edition. First we got Caged Beasties. Um, I think I've been inspired, I might even build a massive zoo, we'll see. So to start, put down two single floors that run parallel to where the entrance will be. Make these dirt floors so you can plant, you only want to plant in the first half. I found that putting down two floors helps the crops to clip, but just be careful when you're planting um, that when you delete the second floor it's not going to delete all the stuff you've put down as well. Then fill the floor space with plants or whatever it is you want and delete the back floor bit. Put the wall up and I use the black wallpaper because I think it gives it um, the illusion of depth, but it's up to you. Okay, add a front wall with a doorway and it's important that you put the door on first uh, so that it opens outwards and not into the cage. Choose your beastie from your wall decorations. If you haven't got all your head plans, the Christmas present event is coming back and the head plans are all in the reward pools. Uh, but a lot of vendors you can still pick them up and they're quite cheap now. Okay, so angle your beastie like I'm doing here and there you can see it snapped to something other than the wall like a crop close your door just to make sure it's all going to work okay and there you go so it's much easier to do this on the first floor but you can still make it work using foundation floors um, you can't add the back wall halfway you can add a wall at the back um, rather than halfway but this is going to give you a lot more floor space to fill but you might want a bigger cage but if you only want half um, then put down a foundation and then use a wall with a doorway the doorways allow you to move foundations so we just pick it up and move it so that the wall is halfway on the floor take your time lining it up not like I'm doing here because you may want to put a roof on top and the wall might intersect with the roof and cause you problems so um, take your time now it is worth it if you want a roof okay so plant your crops like we did before but it's going to be a bit more tricky because there's only half the space to work with uh, so I use a blueprint of some razor grain and a pipe um, and the, the corn's quite easy to place down Okay, so you kind of get the idea. It's imagine it's quite full in there. The Mothman is nice because it's so big and quite dark that you can actually snap it onto the back of the wall and you can do it without worrying about the door frame as well. So it's a much easier one to do. The cell bars is also an option if you bought that from the Atom shop, it's up to you. And there you go, you can put the door on after with the Mothman still in it and it's fine. I use the wooden toilet door for the scorch bees because I kind of like how it looks like it's eating the door away and trying to escape. Okay, now we have the Deathclaw in a display case. I got the idea from someone who was making a fish tank using a light, but I hadn't seen the Deathclaw used, although someone somewhere probably has. Um, I can't remember who done the tank. But if you do a quick YouTube search, I'm sure you'll find it if you wanted to know how the fish tank one was specifically done. I'm not about making videos any longer than they need to be, so I have a blueprint of what you need. It's basically a shelf, a couple of plants, the death claw, and the death claw looking egg, if you got that from the Easter event. But you can just put plants or whatever you want your death claw to be in the tank with. Okay, using the mud pile merge, we sink the plants in a little. Okay, we don't want it to sink too much, just a bit. And then we raise the egg and the death claw up. I had to move the death claw along a bit because it, it was sticking out a bit too much in that blueprint that I'd done. So just be aware of that. 
I also have a blueprint of the display cabinet on a rug and we just place that over the top of the shelf. Okay, you have to have patience and perseverance with this. Uh, things that can help are if you can stand higher than the shelf, um, not having too many things on the shelf because then it's going to intersect with the display case. The further away you stand from the display case when you pick it up also seems to help. Um, yeah, okay, so when you do get it to work, just check nothing is sticking out there where people can see. So I have to do a bit of adjusting, but you guys get the idea. Okay. You can also put things on the wall and then slide the display case back like I did here. So you just put the heads on the wall first, like you would do the shelf first, and then slide the display uh, cabinet back in. So I'm glad that one's done. So good luck to you. Okay, an easier one now with this surveillance room set up. Just going to put a floor and a wall down to show you. You only have to do the blueprint once, so it's worth just doing a little setup like this so nothing else gets in the way. Go to your stash boxes and pick the wall mounted cabinets. This one placed is going to appear on the opposite side of the wall. So go to your stash boxes again and put one down just below the cabinets on the right side. And then go to blueprints and blueprint the stash box in the cabinet. Okay, I'm just going to delete all that. Then go to your blueprints and there you go. Okay, so I delete the stash box and go to the matching cabinets. I put two TVs in there and merge them in a little with the mud pile that we done a moment ago. Move it back again, add some electric And it looks really good with the electric. I like it. And meat poles. I'm quickly showing you this one. More to give you ideas. Um, I'm sure you've got the hang of the merging stuff by now. Uh, but we've got new meat poles coming. And they merge really good with loads of stuff. So go merge some meat. That's all I have for the Treehouse Camp. Hope this video inspired. Give it a thumbs up if it did. Let me know what you think or if you have any tips for creepy looking camps in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, and the notify button will let you know when I upload again. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.